Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Nick Ellis. I am the PC Computer Guy and uh, you are watching another Tech Tip video. You can find more of these on my website www.pccomputerguy.com or on my Facebook page facebook.com slash pccomputerguy. So on this video I'm going to show you how to spot scams um, or phishing or trying to steal credit card information. I'm not sure exactly what, which one this is aiming for. Possibly loading a virus on my computer. Um, I kind of did another one of these before, but I'm going to do another video because the last one focused on somebody that was actually trying to scam me out of credit card information. Um, but this one is something that's more typical that uh, uh, you might see out there. Um, I have AT&T phone service and I received a bill um, right here in my email. This is not a legitimate bill. and I'm going to show you how to how to figure that out. But first, how do they know? I often get the question, how did they know to send me an AT&T bill? They didn't. They sent it out to just thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. And since AT&T is a pretty large company, odds are that they were going to hit some people with AT&T. And I just happen to be one of the people that has AT&T. So if I was not such a clever person, I might uh, click on some of these links and either load a virus on my computer or get my credit card information stolen because you usually use your credit card to pay this stuff. Um, so how can I tell that this is a uh, this is not a legitimate email? Well, it looks exactly like the AT&T email. So, you know, as time goes on, these hackers and scammers and people that load viruses on the computers get more clever. So you have to be a little bit more intelligent in order to prevent this from happening. Um, if you have an antivirus and a good one like Norton Internet Security, then it'll probably prevent any kind of virus from being loaded on your computer. But antiviruses can only do so much. They can't stop you, for example, from putting your credit card information into a website. Um, so I'm going to show you how. Other, you know, otherwise, this looks completely legitimate. However, here's the first tell sign right here. Account ending in four. Okay. Actually, I think my account may... No, uh, no my account doesn't end in four. Internet and home phone. Well, I don't have home phone through AT&T. Um, but, and then this bill amount, 404. Now, here's part of the scam, is that it's a really high number, and the due date is very soon. It's designed to scare you. Oh my god, what the hell is this? I need to do something about it really quickly, and uh, kind of freak you out. But keep your calm, and uh, the way that you can tell, the big telltale sign for just about anything, if you want to make sure that it's legitimate or not, is if you mouse over the links, meaning put your cursor over the links, at the bottom it says where your links go uh, down in this area right here. So for example, if I mouse over this, notice the link in the lower left hand corner says azi.net.ua. Well, that's clearly not att.com, even though the link at, at the top says att.com. Just because the words here say AT&T doesn't mean that that's actually where it's going to take me. You can program these to say whatever you will want. For example, this just says support. This one just says account, but they direct you to web pages. And normally they take you to the legitimate web page, but in this case they're not. So these links aren't going to where you think they're going to. And if I clicked on them, it would probably load web pages that look like AT&T's web page in order to trick you into submitting either your username and your password, which is how they steal your account information, or some other kind of information that they want to get from you. Um, so down the and the way you tell usually when things come from domains such as Visa or your bank, bankofamerica.com or Wells Fargo or AT&T. The address should be att.com slash, and then whatever else after that is fine. But the key is the att.com um, has to be at the very beginning. It can actually be, some people try to trick you by putting it later on. So it might say, in this example, it might say azi.net slash att.com slash hi, you know, whatever else. It doesn't matter. But since it's not at the beginning, then you're not going to att.com. You're going to the azi.net page, which has on its server something called att.com, which is not legitimately AT&T. So your domain needs to be at the beginning. Um, so for a legitimate thing, it would say att.com slash whatever, or maybe attwireless.com. Um, so you kind of have to know the domain a little bit, but you, usually you can tell. This one I can tell is completely bogus. Actually, it's a WordPress site because it says WP-Content, so I already know that it's a WordPress site. 
Um, also, if I go down here to this login button, again, in the lower left-hand corner here, we see that azi.net, so we know that this is completely bogus. If I go over here, same thing, azi.net, completely bogus, once again. And um, if I scroll down, some of these links actually are le the legitimate links in order to perhaps trick you a little bit more. So right here, at t Online Services, if I mouse over this, notice at the bottom, now it says att.com slash simplify, et cetera, et cetera. So this is actually a legitimate link. What probably happened is the scammer got this and then tweaked where these links go, and that's it. But they didn't tweak the links down here because this one also is legitimate, att.com. Same thing here, same thing here. So you see a lot of these are legitimate links, but not all of them. So this is a scam email. They should all be legitimate links if it wasn't a scam email. So I'm showing you this in um, in uh, Chrome, which I use, but I will also show it to you in Internet Explorer in case you're uncomfortable or don't know use Chrome. It's pretty much the same thing. Down in the lower left-hand corner, you get the address of where these are going. Okay. And lastly, I'm going to do it with my Outlook client, my Outlook program here. And again, here's the email and the Outlook program. If I mouse over them, instead of being at the bottom, it pops up the address. So without clicking on it, I just move my mouse over it. It pops up the address and tells me where it's going. And so I know that all of these are bogus. Just about any program today will show you where it's going without you having to click on it, whether it be in the bottom left or a pop-up window like Outlook is doing for me right here. But if you are unsure, then just uh, mouse over it and see where the link is going. And that's usually, you know, that if you know this trick, about 80% of the time you can discern whether it's actually a um, legitimate or illegitimate email. And this will hopefully prevent you from getting your account information hijacked and stuff stolen. Well, thank you for listening. You can find, like I said, more on my website, www.pccomputerguy.com or facebook.com slash pccomputerguy. And until next time, thanks for listening.